The Taichung city government held a drill on Thursday ahead of sweeping water cuts that will take effect next week. Starting Tuesday, water will be cut off two days a week on a rotating basis in Taichung as well as Miaoli. Taichung has set up some 300 stations where locals can store up for waterless days. It's scorching hot and tempers are flaring. Locals stew as they wait in a long line for water. At long last, it's almost her turn at the pump. But wait, he's cutting in line. When confronted, he has the audacity to claim he's in the right. The borough warden tries to mediate to no avail. The line cutter proclaims, call the police if you dare. In no time at all, an officer is at the scene. It's all a drill for water cuts that start next Tuesday in Taichung. Ahead of the big day, the Xitun district office held an event at a local temple to prepare locals for all possible contingencies. There are more than 300 locations where locals can fill up on potable water. From the public announcements and water collection process to the warnings that will be issued by water stations that are running dry, everything is rehearsed to the last detail. We hope everyone will conserve water. Secondly, we hope that during this period, everyone will be able to store water away for future use. Drink shop operators say bubble teas may not always be available during water rationing. Because the boiling and cooling of the tapioca pearls require a lot of water and ice. We'll offer it on a limited supply only at certain times that will depend on the shop. At this shop, a sign informs customers that only eight types of drinks will be available on days with no running water. Tapioca pearls, which require copious water to prepare, will only be available at two fixed times in the afternoon and evening. Everyone is doing their little bit to weather the drought. Even social welfare institutions are conducting drills to be ready. The little hands rub together. Before snack time, the children at this nursery now wash their hands with disinfectant instead of water. We used napkins before, but now, to conserve water, we give them wet wipes. Each little cube contains a wet wipe for children to wipe their mouths and hands with after eating. Bowls and cutlery get a basic scrub before a proper wash back home. This social services building houses a long-term care center and a nursery, among other agencies. Every day, around 300 people come into the building, using up seven tons of water. Here, conservation is critical. We had already been preparing for this. We have 11 210-liter barrels for water storage. They're for use as a last resort, in case there really isn't enough water. They are for emergencies. It's man versus drought, and the battle is on. From the public sector to private, it's all hands on deck as locals brace for water rationing.